Hey guys, RB here. Just wanted to apologize. I haven't uh, posted a video lately. I've been super busy. Um, I had a friend passed away a couple months ago, and so I've been helping the family trying to get the house cleaned out and stuff. And that's resulted in lots of new stuff in my shop, uh, tool-wise. So I've got to get everything put away and get the shop cleaned up before I progress much further on the project that I've had going. So. Uh, just wanted to touch bases and let you guys know that we will be continuing on here. I'm going to make it a goal this week to get these tools put up and get the shop cleaned up so we can continue on with the project. So uh, stay tuned and we will get this taken care of. So yeah, it's one of those sad things, you know, when someone passes away. Um, over the last couple of years, I've lost both my grandparents and inherited quite a few uh, tools and stuff from them and then having a friend passed away. So I've just been just busy trying to go through tools. Um, you know, you know how it is, stuff accumulates. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it filled my toolbox. I need to go through and purge now. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, it doesn't even want to shut anymore. All right, we fixed that drawer. Yeah, that's what it was. Hammers. Hammers, hammers, hammers. Oh, yeah. Sockets. Golly. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get another toolbox. All right. So it's about an hour and a half or so later. Change of plan. So I was able to clean up enough in here to get some room. And really, this is what's taking up all my room. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start back in on this. i got to look at my videos and see where I ended. Um, I think last time we were working on the pillar block, I think it's about ready to mount. So, um, I may go ahead and do that and get this thing wrapped up here. Um, okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and lined this up as best as I can. Um, it's going to track fairly straight. <laughs> so, uh, we are ready to mount this down. Uh, next thing I've done is I've just used a pencil, gone along and traced the outside edge because I'm going to take this off. And then the goal is um, I have four lag bolts that I'm going to bolt up from the bottom side into this. So I'm going to pre-drill the holes. We'll get this line back up and then I should be able to drill into that nice new piece of oak. Loads of fun. Alright, with it all traced out where it should go, there's a line right there. It's kind of going to be hard to see on camera. Um, I'm going to put four holes in here to be able to mount them there. I'm going to use my brand new drill to do that. This is one of the tools I just got from uh, um, a friend's cleanup here. And in sport of cleaning up, I uh, used a new vacuum I got. Uh, did I need this? No. I've got another one I barely use because uh, my shop vac is so much more handier. But, uh, you know, what the heck. So, have it. Might as well go ahead and use it. Alright, so I put the block back on there and just making sure that this is going to be lined up perfect and it looks really good um, so now the goal is I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this I need to get underneath and uh, find out where I need to drill and I'm thinking I might just go ahead and use my cordless drill for that in a small bit um, and I should be able to just barely scar enough to uh, get up in there I don't think I can get a pencil up there I may try to get a pencil up there first that would be ideal I was able to go ahead and uh, use a pencil, this is one of those old uh, mechanical um, pencils, and uh, I was able to get it in the hole there and get our holes marked. So this should be good. Now I'll go ahead and get this thing turned upside down and uh, pre-drill those holes because it is hardwood. That is oak that we're using. So let me go ahead and do that and then we should be about ready to mount this. Alright, I've got the holes drilled. Use my drill once more. Um, so now I'm going to have to go ahead and have the fun and try to figure out how to get all these bolts started without this thing shifting on me. So uh, I guess uh, let the fun begin. Alright, she is mounted down. Um, I ended up just going ahead and using uh, my uh, drill. I don't really need to get a torque drill, but uh, that worked just fine. Got them in. Just worked a couple in first uh, to hold it in place and then was able to draw the other ones in. So, got her. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the belt hooked up. So, uh, got that on there. This is all cleaned up. I think we're about ready to start figuring out the pump. 
Now, when I put this pump on years ago, when I restored the pump, um, I built this stand because this basically has two draw bolts that come up and I wasn't sure how it was going to work and everything. I thought I was going to need some more stability. So I put these feet on here and uh, what that has done is it's allowed it to rock back and forth and I don't care for that. So I think this is going to be another one of those cases where I go ahead and mount that uh, block directly to the platform. Um, anyways, I'm going to put it up there and kind of get an idea and see what I need to do. Go ahead and get this thing back up there. See how it looks. Alright, so I went ahead and took the feet off of that. And as I suspected, there are bolts there. So um, I'm really thinking, so this is about where it would need to go. And you can see how far off I was from the old layup with the engine, which isn't a problem. Uh, that's just PVC pipe, so I can cut it below and wallow out that hole a little bit, put the knob in a little bit, and that would be fine. That will be sufficient. So I'm thinking what I'll do is, just like I did with the block, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing lined up where it should be and trace it out, and then go ahead and put some lag bolts in it, just the same, and I'll just gouge out an area where those bolts need to recess in. I think that'll be fine. Um, everything else is lining up really good. Uh, I'm happy with where that's at. I was a little concerned that the uh, rod here was going to be in um, a bad place with the flywheel, but I can still get to the handle, so I think that'll be fine. Um, I like where everything's sitting. Um, I think the next thing to do, as I said, just go ahead and uh, get the thing lined up and trace it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and... All we do is try. So I went ahead and traced out where it sits best at. Um, used a square to level up to make sure it was square. Um, and it's real close. Um, so I was able to kind of get an idea as to where the bolts are going to hit. And my idea is I'll just use a paddle bit and gouge out a little bit for those bolts to sit down in there. I think that'll be fine. Um, may have to put some wedges or something underneath it to fine tune it once I go to bolt it down but uh, uh, I guess we'll find out here in a little bit what we need to do so I've got the pump set back up there uh, got it lined up fairly good um, there's a little bit of wiggle room to play around next step is going to be go ahead and lag bolt this pump down um, and that's going to be fun so I'll do it the same way I did the pulley I uh, use lag bolts it's in there nice and firm now liking that um, I think my next step is I'm going to go ahead and start this thing. I'm not going to let it run very long. I need to put water in it, uh, both the hopper as well as the pump. But I just want to make sure that the belts are tracking true. So let me go ahead and start this up. All right, it is started. Seems looking pretty good. Looks like the belts are going to work just fine. Uh, engine's a little rough. Like I said, I don't have very much time with this engine. I think I've shown it like once in the last 23, 25 years I've owned it. So it'll take a little bit getting used to, get fine tuned in. Um, so the next thing I need to do is be Mr. Plumber and go ahead and fix this. Um, not a big deal. Just going to go ahead and make it a little wider right there. And then I'll cut the line and pull it back, put a, a coupler in it. So I pulled out the jigsaw and widened out the hole. Took off all the plastic parts here uh, in order to get space in there to do it. So, see how much I moved it over just a little bit. Happy with that. Um, so I have these pieces just fit in here. What I need to do now is it looks like I just need one coupler. I should be able to make that work. It's just shy, but I think there'll be enough play in it to uh, push it in. If not, I may have to uh, cut the line and put in a second coupler and I hate to do that for just a little bit and I only think it's a quarter of an inch off so I'm gonna go ahead and try to go through my spine see if I can find a three-quarter inch coupler all right I went out to my supplies and look what I found I got a coupler with a uh, piece of pipe in it already that's enough room to add a nipple if I need to or a cup another coupler uh, regular coupler even had a little flex hose 
I should be able to make something work there. And just like that, looks like we're going to just use the coupler. We're all hooked up there. We've got enough of a slope down. So I have this other valve here. And what I can do is I can actually turn that valve off. i got a drain here for the water. Obviously this is down a little bit. So, but uh, it'll get most of the water out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and glue up those fittings. And we should be about wrapped up with this project. Alright, so I got the PVC all glued up. Um, we'll let it go ahead and do its thing. I think what I'm going to do now is I want to put one more coat of uh, teak oil on the skids on the engine. And then I'm also going to wipe some on the uh, pillow block as well. I was going to take it completely back apart and do it, but it's really not that important. Um, probably just clean it up a little bit. Shoot, so we'll do that. Uh, so what's next with this thing? Um, I think when we get a good day with weather, I think what I might do is fill this up with water and maybe put some uh, TLC or something in there, something for rust, and see if I can get some of the rust off of the uh, goop that I've put in there. So I've had this bucket for many years, and obviously with water and no water, it's shrunk and expanded and everything. So um, I've sealed it up really good with silicone, and it doesn't leak, but it just has gotten ugly from rust. So, um, yeah, so that's next. And then I think what we'll end up doing is, again, with a nice day, I'll probably go ahead and put another coat of stain on the deck here. And I think this thing is about ready to pull out of the shop at that point and, uh, you know, put back down in storage and be ready to show here. So I hope you appreciate this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off here. Uh, this project's done. we got some exciting things coming to the channel. Uh, one of the things is, is that I have acquired an old uh, generator, and I've got to go pick that up and get that home here. Don't know nothing about it, other than it's really cool. It's got a radiator on it, um, got a hand crank, um, so yeah, so I'm excited about that. Hoping to maybe go get that next weekend. So, uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Love comments. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And let others know I want to build this channel up um, and get more ideas on things I can do. There's always so much to do. Um, hope you appreciate this. And thanks for watching.